like to tell you something about our department, 61 Department, the Air Force. When an Air Cobra rolls off the assembly line, it isn't finished. No, sir, not by a long shot. There are still some 304 different operations to be done, and it's our department that does them. Our territory starts with the ramp at the end of the plant. Then we have the pre-flight hangar and the combat hangar just in front of it. We use them to check the airplanes before their first takeoff. Then there's the recheck hangar where the bugs are ironed out after the initial flight. And of course, we use the modifications hangar for final work. It's an around the clock job and we've got over a thousand people working the three shifts. Altogether, we put in more than 250,000 man hours every month. How's it all kept track of? Well, it's kind of simple. You see, there's an airport operations office up in the mezzanine. Vivian Pollard gets a call every time an airplane is moved, and she tells Corrine Shipston, who keeps the control board up to the minute. In addition, there's a big map of the airport, too, kept up by Jean Sekula and Betty Bowery. First of all, we put an airplane through flow test and pressure test. Here's Maury Goldstein checking the pressure. If it's okay, Doris Goodenough, the inspector, puts plenty of muscle on the stamp that sends the ship on to engine test. At engine test, a man has to be quick and sure, like Pete Inc. Russo setting the relief valve, Fred Bray watching the panel, or Lee Backman checking the generator with Dan Amitich. There are some 89 separate steps in engine test, and sometimes it seems like they all have to be done at once. Incidentally, the water cool while it's tested on the ground. Following engine test, we swing the ship on the compass rose. It takes a lot of experience to get the knack of this job. Just watch Earl Eastman head her right up toward the North Pole. Now the ship goes into pre-flight hangar for a complete checkover. And if you find something unusual, you holler for your lead man. Uh, that is, lead woman, if you're on Dorothy Garsky's crew. Then after another run-up, the ship is checked again at the combat hangar, and it's ready for the initial flight line. It's the test pilot show from now on. This is Johnny Wiles, and the crew chief getting him set is Manley Knudsen. The flight inspector for this ship is Dan Campion. And between the three of them, believe it or not, they know every nut and bolt, every rivet in the airplane. Flight inspector and crew chief, that airplane is there, baby and it's a mighty important moment when it goes down the runway for the first time. After the first flight, the ship is flown again from the recheck hangar. When everything is okay, it goes to modification for any final work before delivery. Some of the ships go to Dade Brothers for crating, and some are gassed up to be flown away by the ferry pilot. When our department, 61 department, gets through with an Air Cobra, it's on its way to plant some 37 millimeter shells where they'll do the most good, right smack in Hitler's and Hirohito's actions.